I just got finished washing off my, my potatoes. What I'm about to do now is I'm just going to take some margarine, which is unsweetened butter, and I'm going to, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to take some butter, and I'm actually wanting to dry my potatoes off because the butter is thick butter. So, I'm trying to do this video as quickly as I can because my time is uh, running out and I'm going to have to put it on charge and start all over again waiting to put this video out. Um, I think my daughter's already uploaded something to this video. So, I want to finish it all. So, this is what I'm telling you guys. You're really supposed to take paper towel. I'm trying to do it as quickly as I can. Dry the paper towel. I'm going to dry the potatoes off. Now remember this is crock pot cooking, so that means that I'm going to put these potatoes in the crock pot whole like this and it's going to be there for at least four to five hours. I will check it in the next two hours or so to see how everything is going. So you just put it in there, just grab another one and put that butter on there and yes and put it in that crock pot. Boom. Another one and put some more butter on there all over just try to get the butter all on it if you can and put it in a crock pot we got one more and this is it and we're going to put it in a crock pot now wonderful thing is once it gets all steamed down and all cooked and everything from being in a crock pot we're going to take and excuse me i'm very sorry thank you my camera person what we're going to do is we're going to take and dawn is good for getting our grease we're going to take and um we're going to put a little water in there just so they can help up the steam. That's what it looks in the crock pot. That's how it looks. Uh, now we're going to crock pot number two. Okay. Now we're going to crock pot number two. Be but before I finish crock pot number one, I don't want to forget. So I do want to put my water in there. I use bottled water, but excuse me, let me rinse this, please. Thank you. Alrighty. I use bottled water, but other people may use other kind of water. So I'll just put this in there for right now and let it uh, simmer up, let it steam up, and I'll come back and check it because it's basically doing a steam. So I'm going to put two, which was a half a cup of water in it for right now because I want that water to start getting really, really hot. Before I add any more. So that one is done for right now. And I'll be back to show you the rest of the stuff on that. Now we're going to do the second one. The second one will be. This is the hottest one. So I'm going to put the meat in this one. And the second one. I'm going to bring my meat over. And this is. Bear with me please. I have to rinse my plates off and then I have to dry it off because I don't want water on my meat. So the second plate will have the meat. Now this is the meat. I cut it in half in a pan because I'm going to continue to fry this piece and we're going to eat that piece first for dinner. This piece right here is going to be milk for tomorrow because everything I'm putting in here in a crock pot, you see how wonderful that fits in there? Oh my goodness. Now you put the meat in there. After the meat, then I had already cut up some other things to go in, like some onions. Throw some onions in there. Some more onions in there, which is really, really good. Onions is very good for it. Oops, had a little accident. All right, now I'm going to put some red onions in there and some green peppers. Red onions and green peppers. I'm trying to do this fast. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to do it fast because, for the simple fact, that I um, don't have that much time in on my crock pot. And I'm going to uh, put two, two little cloves of garlic in there. There we go. Now that's good. I'm going to take my cup again and my water. And I'm going to take and I'm going to measure. Because I want this to cook up too. So I'm putting one thing of water in there. And I'm sorry, got to get another bottle of water. I'm out of water. But you guys can see that beautiful food up there looking so delicious. And then I'm going to take and put another, uh, trying to open up the water, another, ah, uh, another thing of water, another thing of water in there. 
And there we go. I'm doing two for right now. And I want that to cook on down. And not on, on top of that, I told you guys, we do have to put just a little bit of butter in there. So I'm going to put my butter in there now. Two little slices of butter. Just for right now to get it started. One last thing. I love me some pepper so much. I know I put pepper on the thing, but I got to spread me a little pepper on top. And there you go. Put the top on it. Bam. The next one we're doing is the collard greens. We're going to start off right away. Doing the collard greens right away. We're going to start off right away putting some butter on there. Some butter in there. Bam. Then we're going to take and we're going to put all the rest of the vegetables. Put them vegetables on in there. Yes. And then we're going to take and we're going to put the collard greens and the other things, other greens that we got in there as well. And there go them collard greens. These collard greens came from out of my garden, you guys. Um, it's getting more and more and more, but I'll be eating them.